What's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John City 4, and today I would like to talk about the latest Call of Duty Black Ops 3D trailer, Ember. Now, if you guys haven't seen it lately, make sure you stop by the Call of Duty YouTube channel to see for yourself on how much to reveal about Black Ops 3. So, anyways, my opinions and my thoughts about this trailer is that, um, well, at least we know the settings. Because, you know, it doesn't show us that much. It doesn't show us about multiplayer. It doesn't talk to us about weapons in the game, you know, except for two. They actually, they show us two weapons, but I will try to investigate later what the hell they are. So, anyways, um, it does tell us the year, which is uh, 2065. That's the year Black Ops 3 will be dated on. 2065. That's freaking far into the future. God damn. That's like 10 years apart from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and 40 years apart from Black Ops 2. That's how far we are into the goddamn future. So, anyways, in the trailer, another thing that pretty much caught my eye was that, um, damn, that's a lot of technology, you know? People having contacts that allow us to see thermal, um, modify body parts, which pretty much allows it to jump high and move faster and swim faster, play sports better and shit. That's kind of insane. And then there was this one part where the company of who made this shit was being overthrown because the people didn't like it because they felt like they were playing God. Damn, that's an insane campaign. I would like to play it now. Now that's the way to advertise the campaign mode. Not like freaking Infinity War and Sledgehammer games like they've been doing for the past years. They don't know how to advertise freaking campaign modes. All they've been advertising is like how fun this game is. You see, Black Ops 3 is actually going to make me buy the game because I want to play the campaign mode. As for the multiplayer though, now here's a, actually a glimpse of multiplayer. Go to the end of the trailer. Go to the thermal guy, right? There's like a guy in thermal. There's a guy looking at, at some random ass guy in thermal. And um, it looks like he's jumping up. Seriously, he looks like he's jumping up. I want you to slow down that part and see for yourself if he's actually jumping up or he shot the guy who had the thermal mask on. It's your opinion. My opinion is that he jumped up and it's going to be under the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare coming into our hands. Black Ops 3. So, that's what I'm seeing right now. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that there's going to be another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare coming into their freaking living rooms now. Hopefully not, though. If it's like another Black Ops 2 game, I would love to play Black Ops 2. Except with all the fucking updates because the updates kind of ruined the game of Black Ops 2. So... And please don't make it into another quick scoping game, please. I don't want to deal with that bullshit again. Vonderhaar. So anyways, that is it. That's all I want to talk about. All my reactions and my thoughts about this trailer. My thoughts is that the campaign mode is going to be looking sweet. And the multiplayer is still questionable. Because nobody knows if there's going to be exosuits or any kind of exo movement going on in the game. As far as I know, since we're like half Terminators, there probably will be. And if there is... A lot of people are going to defend Vonderhaar saying that, uh, oh, don't worry, it's Vonderhaar. And then they have an orgasm over Vonderhaar after that. Like, what the fuck? You know, you hated, you hated Call of Duty Events Warfare and you wanted to, dis you want them to disown the franchise and shit, but then you have Treyarch doing it and now you don't want to? Like, how the fuck does that work? Come on, man. Be, don't be biased here. You know, have your reasonable opinion. So anyways... So yeah, that's it. That's all I want to talk about. You guys want to hear more about this Black After news and rumors and stuff about this? You know, subscribe for more. There's going to be more coming up. I'll try to dissect this trailer as much as possible over the next two days. Because, you know, the main thing is going to come in Sunday and have very little time. So there might be like a few more videos coming up. So that is it. Subscribe for more. You guys want to see more Black After news and rumors.